Welcome back to our ticker broker project. In our last class, we created our abstract ticket class. And in this video, we're going to create our advanced ticket, uh, which will inherit from our abstract ticket class. So let's go ahead and start a new file. And we'll say public class advanced. This is an advanced ticket extends ticket. We need to and use the extends keyword because we're going to inherit from ticket. And then we're going to have some fields, constructor, and some methods. We'll have a price and we're going to make it protected this time. So in previous videos we've done private which means only the getters and setters in that class can access that field. Public would make them accessible to other classes. Protected we use when we want some of the security of, pri of a private scope, but we also want to allow other classes within the same project or package to be able to access them. So we'll say protected double price. And then our constructor will say public advanced. And in order to have an advanced ticket, we need to know the days before that they're buying the ticket. So we'll pass in a local variable for that. Now, in order to access the methods and tickets, the first line of a constructor of a child of an abstract class must be super, so we'll say super, open and close parentheses, and then we're going to say create the variable price, but we're going to set it equal to our get price method, and of course we'll have to pass in the number of days before. Now, if you remember before in ticket, we had this method, abstract method, called getPrice, and all we gave it was its method signature. We did not instantiate it. In, with abstract methods, you, you don't instantiate them in the, or you don't give it the method body in the abstract class. Um, what this does is it says that every ticket must overwrite this method and in its child class. So we need to overwrite that method and tell it exactly what we want. So we're going to say private double get price. We'll pass in int days before. And then we'll call create a local variable. And we'll say if days before is greater than or equal to 10 days, 10. Then we'll set the result, which it will be our price to um, $30. Else, the result will be um, $40. And then we need to return a result. And then we can have an assessor method. Which will be public double get price. And this returns the price for us if we want to look it up for this kind of ticket. And if you wanted to make it a little more intuitive, you could change result to cost or something if you wanted to. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and compile this and save this class. And it looks like we don't have any um, errors to fix for right now. 
and in the next video we will write our walk-up class or walk-up ticket.